We're living in truly exciting times when large language models are popping up like microwave popcorn. But for people like you and me, it's a little hard to keep up. I've got 99 problems and I could name each one of them after an LLM. But let's make it simpler. Let's start with the rock stars of LLMs, right? GPT, Claude, Llama. Actually, let's focus on the latest models of each one of these. GPT-4, Llama-2 and Claude-2, right? Let's take a closer look at each one of them, what may works for them, what does not work for them in this ultimate showdown of large language models. Let's begin. So before we proceed, a quick overview at each one of these LLMs. Uh, first of all, GPT-4. GPT-4 is developed by uh, OpenAI. It's the fourth in the series of large language models uh, developed and launched by OpenAI. It's a significant improvement over the other models in terms of generating human-like text, uh, understanding context, and it even takes non-text inputs. Llama 2 is an open source large language model developed by Meta. It's a significant improvement over Llama 1 uh, and it is trained on 40% more data and can have twice the context length now. Uh, Meta AI used reinforcement learning using human feedback and uh, reward models to ensure that the outputs are uh, safe and non-toxic. Claude 2 developed by Anthropic is a significant improvement over its previous models in terms of length of responses, performance, and it can also be accessed via API and a beta public facing website called Claude.ai. So now that we have a, a quick overview of all of these uh, large language models, let's quickly compare them. First up, number of parameters. GPT-4 is rumored to have somewhere around 100 trillion parameters. Llama 2, somewhere between 7 billion to 70 billion parameters. And Claude 2, something to the north of 130 billion parameters. The number of parameters is important because it determines the complexity of the model and its ability to learn from new data. Uh, LLM with more parameters will be able to identify more complex pattern in data, which can lead to better improvement and more scope. Simple tasks like uh, text classification may require a model with a few thousand parameters, whereas a more complex task uh, like machine translation may require a model with a few billion parameters. Now let's talk multilinguality. GPT-4 can accurately respond to questions in more than 26 languages. In fact, it fared quite well in multiple choice questions in languages uh, in which it wasn't specifically trained for which means GPT-4 is way more friendly for non-English speakers and for tasks involving uh, languages other than English. Llama 2's pre-training data is 90% English and even the other languages like uh, German, Italian, Spanish constituted about 2% of its training data, which makes it unsuitable for uh, conversing in other languages apart from English. In fact, Meta officially uh, made a statement saying that this large language model may not be suitable for use in other languages other than English. Claude 2, on the other hand, can converse in more than 10 languages, including German, Spanish, French, and more. They are slowly increasing their global applicability and more language support is uh, uh, expected soon. So how do these LLMs fare in terms of coding? Well, Llama 2 is not that strong in coding. Claude 2, whereas is extremely good at coding, mathematics, logical reasoning. GPT-4 is slightly better than Claude 2 when it comes to uh, reasoning and other tasks related to coding. So if that's what your requirement is, right? If you want to write code, you want to do some debugging, you want to explain codes and other related tasks, then either go, go with Claude 2 or GPT-4. Llama 2 is more suited for creativity. Which brings us to our next point. Now let's compare these large language models in terms of uh, creativity, right? Uh, well, GPT-4 comes out really well. It creates some very interesting and engaging content from uh, creating completely new plot lines to developing characters, to writing raps, to ballads. GPT-4 is really good at it, uh, but there is a downside to it too. Uh, sometimes the content can be a little bit offensive. It can be biased. Claude 2 uh, is also quite creative, uh, but the thing is it can be at times a little dry and boring. For example, when given the same prompt to write a poem, uh, Claude 2 had a very simple A, B, A, B format, whereas uh, GPT-4's output was much more advanced. It focused on uh, syllables, meter, the way it sounds, uh, right? So that's, that's the difference between GPT-4 and Claude 2. 
uh, if you want more factual um, content, more informative content and content which is not harmful, which is not biased, uh, which is very informative, uh, then Lama 2 is the way to go because Lama 2 is specifically trained to not generate harmful uh, content, to not generate toxic content. Well, now let's compare the important part, pricing and availability. Well, GPT-4 is available worldwide. Uh, it's char it's, it charges around 3 cents per thousand tokens if you want to uh, use the large language model if you want to go through the chat gpt uh, route then you have to take chat gpt plus which comes to around 20 dollars per month all right uh claude 2 is available only in us and uk uh, it charges around uh, 11 dollars per million tokens llama 2 is open source it's free and available worldwide so mirror mirror on the wall which is the best llm of them all well, it really depends on what you want, right? If you want an all-rounder, which is good at writing creative content and also good at uh, coding and mathematical reasoning, then GPT-4 is the way to go. But if you want text completely free of, free of harmful text, um, uh, free of biases, free of um, toxic content, then Llama 2 is the way to go, right? And on the other hand, if you want something, if you want to debug, if you want to write code, if you want to explain codes, then Claude 2 is really good at it right it all boils down to what is it what is the scope of the project uh, that you're working on and your budget uh, and your timelines right uh, all of these large language models have their own strengths have their own weaknesses it's up to you to choose each of these llms are rapidly evolving and changing as we speak so stay tuned to our series ai in a blink to get the latest about large language models and generative ai thank you